people love listening to this. There you go. So, okay. um, so it's just kind of interesting to see like where the number 12 mark is in each event. Gotcha. So like in the men's hundred, it's 10, two is 12. Mm-hmm. So compare that to East. So if you change the URL for to East Travis, so in the, in the West, the top 12 is 10, two in the yeah. East, the top 12 is 10, 17. Right, right, right. And it's kind of interesting to see, like, to better to be. I think the East 100 is going to be a lot harder to qualify for because you have the big three of Laird, Martin, and Bowling, all who have yeah. sub-10 PBs. And don't forget Joseph Amoa, who's like a fifth-year senior from Coppin State, who's run 10 flat. Um, I just think we might see some some crazy stellar uh, – Sprint times, especially in the east, if the weather holds up in Florida, it's going to be great, yeah. great weather. Um, I was uh, chatting with Trayvon Bromel, who trains on the track that I think uh, this meet is going to be held at. And he's mm-hmm. been saying, man, watch out for Javon Martin. He's the real deal. Uh, he saw him run his 994 earlier this year. He's expecting even bigger things from him in uh, this prelim. And for the fastest man in the world – to be kind of hyping you up, it, it, it means something. So I'm excited to see Laird versus Martin versus Bowling. And what we got to hope is we got to hope that when they do get to their final, that they're not broken out into the three different heats, that for some weird reason they get bumped into the same race so we could see them go up against each other. So Laird's, Laird's season has been nothing short of spectacular. So you want to see – if that can continue. And then Javon Martin, obviously that big eye popping time. Now we're in championship season and we hope the weather cooperates, not just the temperature, but the wind, because we've had some crazy winds lately. We've had crazy winds in this event. I remember a couple of years ago, there was an insane women's 200 that was run with like a plus four or something. And I think it was Shania Collins ran some ridiculous yeah. um, wind dated time. So we hope that the weather cooperates there on the West men's hundred it's pretty interesting those two freshmen there michael williams and sean maswangani of of houston to so see them in the in a, in a big meet williams i mean they both were at indoors williams obviously won it so you think that they'll they'll be fine but i see them as as especially maswangani is as the man to beat or the guys guys to beat i think williams Obviously, because of his 60, you have to take him seriously. Not too much of a gap between second and third there. So that should be fun. 